Hello everyone, we're, today we are going to change the serpentine belt and the AC compressor belt in Mazda 3 2006. First we will remove uh, this tire, the uh, front right tire. We have here a small um, car jack uh, to lift the car and then we are going to remove the tire first. Okay, now uh, we removed the uh, the tire, and then the next step is to go inside here, and you can see here these three bolts, the the one on uh, on the right and the one on the left, are 10 millimeter bolts. So we are going to use a 10 millimeter uh, socket to remove to remove these two bolts, and the the middle one is, uh, is just a regular screw. Uh, you need to remove the screw first and then the pressure ring surrounding, uh, surrounding the screw. So let's start with removing the 10 millimeter. Uh, here are the uh, two millimeter bolts and this one um, uh, Sometimes it is hard to get the this bolt out of uh, out of its place uh, because it has um, This uh, push thing so Sometimes it's better to remove the bolt itself first and then uh, it is it will be easy to remove it from its place then the next step is to move this cover a little bit down and here is the belt for the AC this is the belt for the AC it looks good but we need to remove it to change the serpentine belt the serpentine belt is the back one this one and we are not able to change the serpentine belt unless we remove the AC belt so uh, first we should cut the AC belt and then uh, remove the serpentine belt and then after installing the new serpentine belt we can put the new AC belt so we cut the uh, AC belt from here just using a scissor or a any cutting tool and then the next step we will uh, remove the uh, the serpentine belt you can see here it, it has some uh, something comes out from the belt so it, it should be fine but it's better to change it okay here is the serpentine belt this one and it should go inside to the uh, bully for the uh, water pump and then for the uh, compressor the uh, air conditioning compressor so we are going to remove this belt we need to uh, untension this tensioner from from here so it will be easy to remove this belt uh, this one needs uh, a 14 millimeter socket to uh, remove the tension on the belt So uh, here is the tensioner and this is a 14 millimeter socket. So it will go over here 
and then just remove the tension this side you will see the tensioner is moving this side and then remove the belt just watch your fingers here I go we are going to remove the belt just uh, keep it moving downside and we can take it from here this one is the old one and we are going to change it here I can listen this sound it means that the uh, the bearings for this bully is not good so you have two options just to change the bully or to change the tension the tensioner itself so what I'm going to do is to change the tension itself we have a new one here and we will change the old one first we need to remove these three bolts one and there is another two uh, under uh, it's very narrow space here so I'm trying to get the we may need to remove this cover to have more room um, and now you can see these two bolts this one and this one and the third one is right here uh, this should be uh, 12 millimeter bolts uh, and let's see uh, the next step so as I said, uh, we are going to remove these three bolts, uh, the, the space for the, the two bolts in the bottom is uh, very narrow, so we can uh, put the, the socket first over the bolt head and then we can try to go with the tensioner, oh, sorry, with the, with the wrench. So you will find it uh, a little bit hard uh, because uh, at the beginning, but after after that it will be uh, easy. Here are the two bolts uh, under the tensioner. I already removed these two, and then this uh, this one is the last one on the top. So here is the tensioner, the old one, and you can hear the sound. Uh, but for the new one, there is no sound at all. Okay, so we are going to put the new one here with the uh, exactly with the same as what we did just return all everything as it was this one on the top and this one in the bottom right This one in the bottom left. So here we put the new tensioner, uh, and then uh, we we uh, we have these two belts 
this one is the serpentine belt and this one is the uh, AC compressor belt we bought it from Amazon these are the two uh, numbers for the two belts I bought the continental brand uh, the, I think this is one of the best uh, options available uh, you should inspect it after uh, 60k miles and replace it after 90k miles so here we will go to place the serpentine belt uh, first we will tie it in the AC uh, pulley from under here Make sure it matches with the teeth of the uh, pulley and then we can go up and the back of the belt should go over the this pulley the uh, the water bump pulley And there is the the little pulley over here. Maybe automator, I think. So we, we put the new belt here, uh, so to put the new belt after putting the tensioner, release the tension from the tensioner using the, uh, I'm using here a 13 millimeter socket or you can use also the half inch uh, socket, it depends on the uh, on your tensioner, uh, release the tension and try to put the belt over the tensioner and make sure that you are putting the belt as exactly it was um, you may need to uh, rotate the tensioner all the way down to uh, to make it easier for you to uh, remove the uh, oh sorry to install the new belt so to put the uh, air conditioner uh, belt this one, you can see it is uh, shorter uh, than the serpentine belt. It should go between these two bodies, this down one and this one, which is connected to the serpentine belt to rotate the air compressor, uh, sorry, the uh, AC compressor uh, connected to this pole. So uh, there is multi options to do this. Uh, the first one is to get this special tool from uh, AutoZone you can rent it or you can buy it um, this special tool goes uh, over here so this this part will keep uh, the belt uh, in the pulley and you will fix the part using this bolt in the pulley from outside it should go like this and then rotate the pulley at least 180 degree so the belt will go inside uh, its track uh, this one will be the first option and to install this tool this bolt should go over inside this hole and it's better to rotate the uh, the pulley a little bit I'm using here 
13 over 16 uh, size it is a little bit hard because you are rotating the engine itself you will feel these strokes sometimes it is easy sometimes it's hard it depends on you are compressing or you are releasing a little bit more yeah here I go so this should be the right position to start I will put your tool like this and this bolt should go inside this hole this little hole and the belt should be on and then rotate the uh, the bully one more rotation or at least 180 so the belt will go inside its track this is the first option the second option is to use the zip tile you can buy like a set of zip tile for one dollar from amazon for walmart or something and this zip tile will go from inside and then you will get it from the other side and tie this zip tile over the belt do like five at least five or six seven uh, to make it uh, hard and to make it tight uh, as much as you can um, and for sure you have the belt uh, uh, on its track before putting the zip tile uh, this is the second option the third option is just doing it by your hand um, it is a little bit hard it may need uh, someone who is professional to do it uh, and make sure uh, you are watching your fingers while doing it just by your hand uh, keeping the the belt on track with your hand while rotating the uh, the engine itself so this one is a little bit hard uh, but you can try it if you, try it if you want So here what we did is we used the, the tool we rent from AutoZone uh, just be careful while using the tool uh, make sure that this hole in this position just rotate the, the shaft a little bit more In this position and then uh, put the belt over this flat port and the edge of the pulley should go over here it will not fit exactly as it is uh, so the tool will be like inclined not flat over the pulley and make sure the bolt go inside this hole you may uh, use a hammer to to just a little bit uh, of force to make the bolt go inside this hole and then keep rotating the pulley until it comes from the other side and this should be uh, uh, how to uh, put the AC belt uh, after putting the belt just make sure that the the belt is aligned with the teeth of the post of the pulleys uh, and it rotates smoothly you may need to rotate one full rotation and uh, and see how it, uh, it rotates just to make sure that everything works good and then do uh, an engine start test now just before doing the engine test make sure that you removed all the all of the tools 
nothing inside, nothing outside, and make sure that everything is clean, and then uh, do the test. So we are going to run the engine right now. Here is the serpentine belt. Everything is good. And here is the AC belt. You may need to uh, open your AC just to see how it rotates. Well, now uh, everything is okay, so we can return everything as it was. Uh, put this one back. This is a, the bolt I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Uh, you can put this one first, like that. And then put the, the bolt inside. And then the two 10 millimeter bolts, one on the right and one on the left. So now we'll put the cover back and then we'll put the, the tire. Now we'll put the tire back and let's do a drive test. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope, uh, I hope it is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. I can, uh, I would uh, like to see your questions uh, in the comment section. And uh, if you like the video, uh, please, um, Hit like. Thank you.